Hello and welcome to Hot's Guide to Beginning OpenStreetMap. In this video, we're going to get started looking at the OpenStreetMap website, learning how to navigate it, and how to do a few more things on the, on the main OpenStreetMap website. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your web browser. This might be Internet Explorer, or Mozilla Firefox, or Google Chrome. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Mozilla Firefox. So click on that to open it up and when you get to your web browser you want to take it to openstreetmap.org which is the main OpenStreetMap website to do that click in the address bar at the top of the page and type openstreetmap.org press enter and you should go to the main OSM website okay when you get to the website it should look something like this you'll see a, a map here on the, uh, the main part of the page there's some more things here on the left and some tabs at the top and we'll look at those a little bit later. But for now, let's learn how to navigate the map on the main part of the page. This is what's called a slippy map, which means it's kind of slippy in that you can move it around from the left and the right and it sort of slips around the page if you grab it with your mouse and you drag it. There's two ways to navigate the map. The first is to zoom in and to zoom out and the second is simply to pan right or left, up or down which is north, south, east, and west. Uh, the first way to zoom is to use the zoom control bar here on the left. Uh, you can see that um, there's a plus button at the top of the zoom bar and a minus button at the bottom. Now, the minus button allows you to zoom out and the plus button lets you zoom in. So if I click on the minus button, I'll zoom out and I can see a little bit more of the map. If I click it again, I'll zoom out further. And I can also click anywhere on the zoom bar to zoom uh, a certain number of levels, zoom levels they're called, uh, in or out on the map. So if I drag this slider bar down a little bit, I'll be able to zoom way out and I can see the whole world. Here's Africa and Asia and so on. Uh, another way to zoom in on the map is to double click anywhere that I'd like to zoom in. So if I take my mouse, let's say I want to zoom in right here, I can double click and that'll zoom in on that place on the map. If I double click, I'll zoom in again. Now my favorite way to zoom in is a little bit trickier. If you hold the shift button down on your keyboard and drag your mouse, you can select a box and then the map will zoom in right where you've drawn that box. So to do this, hold down the shift button on your keyboard, left click with your mouse and hold the left mouse button down drag your mouse to draw a box and when you release the mouse the map will zoom in. Okay, to zoom back out we can use the minus button and that's basically how you zoom in and out on the map. Now to pan the map to move east or west or north and south uh, there's a couple ways to do this. Um, one basic way is to use this control up here in the left corner uh, just above the, the zoom slider bar. If I click on the right arrow or the left arrow or the down and up arrow it'll move the map but a much easier way to move the map around is simply to left click and hold your mouse button down and then drag your map around this is the way that the map slips around hence the name slippy map so the combination of these two controls being able to zoom in and zoom out and being able to grab the map and drag it around lets you navigate the map pretty well now let's zoom back out go and see the whole world here and let's say that I want to find a specific city or a specific place but I don't want to have to drag the map around zooming in and out looking for it uh, you can use the search box here on the left side of the page and search for any place that you might know of and if it's in the OpenStreetMap database you'll be able to uh, to see it and go straight to that place so let's say I want to find the city of Cairo in Egypt. I can just type Cairo here in the search box, click go, and then I'll get a whole bunch of search results here um, from everything that has the word Cairo in it. So you can see here there's a whole bunch of different uh, places with the word Cairo in it. There's Cairo in Italy and Canada and the United States. Even Costa Rica has a town called Cairo. Of course, the Cairo that I want is in Egypt, so I'll find this one here that says Cairo, Egypt. And when I click on this link, the map will automatically zoom me to that place, which is Cairo, Egypt. I can make sure this is Cairo if I just zoom out a little bit. 
and that looks a lot like Egypt. This is uh, Palestine and Israel. Here's the Red Sea. So that worked great. Now, a couple more things that we can do with the map. Uh, let's say that we want to send a link to somebody of a location on the map. So I'll just zoom in here to Cairo and find a nice neighborhood. Okay, so let's say that I want to send this link to somebody so that they can see this place on the map. Here in the bottom corner, there's a little button called Permalink. And this Permalink is a link for the map uh, which is static, which will never change. So if I click on this, you can see up here at the top that the address of the page has changed. This, because, this is because it includes a little bit more information about where this location is, the coordinates of the image, the latitude and the longitude. But if you don't know what these numbers mean, don't even worry about it. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a future video. Uh, but what you can do is you can take this address here, this web address, and you can copy it by pressing Control c on your keyboard and you can paste that into an email or a message and when any, whenever anybody visits that link they'll come straight to this map. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you how to do is how to export an image of the map so that you can download it onto your computer uh, and possibly print it if you'd like to print uh, a part of the map. So to do that uh, you can go up to the export tab here on the top if you click on this tab, then a side panel will open up here with some different options that uh, we can change um, when we want to download an image of the map. Uh, but the first thing that we want to do before we can do that is just make sure that the map window over here shows the place that we want an image of. So you can, you know, just like before, you can drag this map around, zoom in and out. And let's say I want a nice image of this area. Uh, you can see as I move the map around that these numbers here will change a little bit. It's because these numbers uh, are the coordinates of this image, the latitude and the longitude. Again, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. It's not really important at this time. Uh, here you can choose the format of the data that you want to export, that you want to download. Since we just want an image of the map, we can leave it at the default, which is MapNIC image. Uh, and then below that, there's the option to change the format of the image. Uh, you can choose JPEG or PDF or some other options. Um, PNG works great, so I'll just leave it where it is. And then the last field here is the scale of the map. Um, as a general rule, the lower the number that you have as a scale, the higher resolution your map is going to be, the higher detail you'll be able to see when you download the image. The lowest number that they'll let us pick here is 6800, so that's the lowest scale we can choose. Uh, I don't really want it that detailed, but pretty good would be maybe 10,000 for a scale. So I'll type that in the box here. If I click out of the box, you can see that the size of the image that I'm going to download is uh, this many pixels by this many pixels, which is a pretty good size. So now that I've filled all these fields in, I can click Export. Okay, and now a little dialog is opened where it says I can save this file. This file is called map.png. I'll click OK. And you can see that the map is starting to download. Okay, now that that's about finished, I can take this file that I've just downloaded onto my computer and I can open it up. I'll just right click here and click open and this will open with my default photo uh, viewer my default image viewer um, if I zoom in here you can see a ah, pretty good detail I could have maybe lowered the scale a little bit to get higher quality but you can play around with that and, and see what different results you get um, but this is great now because I have an image of the map now so I could send this to somebody or uh, edit it if I wanted to in an image editor or I could just use my print button here and I could print this image out on my printer. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video we're going to look at how to sign up for an OpenStreetMap account and how to start editing, making changes to the map. So stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you again.